Well, what can I say about today? It was a lot of fun. I was back at the morning show this morning at 5, so I've been up since about 4, and it's 7 o'clock right now, just after 7, and I just got back to the hotel. So today was a long day, but it was amazing. And so kind of my day just started off with, you know, attending the assignment meeting, and just researching some stuff for a little bit and then I spent the rest of my day just kind of, you know, taking in the morning show and what they do there and how it all works and, you know, just understanding the system and offering my help to whoever needed it. I also did an interview with Rosie, one of the hosts of the morning show, so now I guess I've covered all the hosts and I get to go back there tomorrow morning bright and early at 5 again and around 6-ish, 6 6.30ish, I'm leaving to the zoo with Liam and we're gonna go, well I'm gonna watch uh, him do some live stuff and get to check out the Toronto Zoo which is super exciting and then right after that instead of spending the rest of my day at the morning show I'm going straight to the Barber Green office where um, ET Canada is where they do the um, the evening news and they actually they the control room for the morning show so kind of where they play everything out of um, that's at the Barber Green office so I got to um, see the control room there and kind of see how the show goes and I asked them about all their new system and how that's working out and how they use it in comparison to um, how they did it the old way with say a VTR person and a switcher and blah 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 and now the director kind of does that all. So <clears throat> I got to learn some of that. I did some more stuff for the teleprompter. So that just, like I said on my Facebook post, kind of further reinforces my prompter master skills like I had at school. Uh, this prompter is a little bit more confusing than the one at school, but I assume that's just because they're completely different and run on completely different systems. Um, and then today, unfortunately, was Jim Flaherty's funeral. Um, but for me, I got to use my transcribing skills and transcribe a bunch of interviews, put some more, you know, in point, out points in, and just um, pick all the good pieces uh, in different interviews with people like... Um, Trudeau and I, Rob Ford wouldn't talk. He just wouldn't talk. So I didn't tra transcribe anything for Rob Ford, but there was lots of cool political leaders that I kind of got to see <clears throat> do that, like Olivia Chow um, and a few others. And other than that, I just kind of offered my help around the building and I went and watched a little bit of the evening news and I met Crystal, who kind of showed me around a little bit, and we're going to do a little interview together when she's back on Friday, and I'm just really excited to go back to Barbara Green tomorrow and maybe get sent out with a reporter, or maybe get sent out with just a cameraman and get to kind of do, go do some interviews on my own and be a, be a big kid. I don't know, but I'm excited. So that's just some of the stuff that happened today. I'm trying to think of it all, but... I don't know. Did I tell you I met Jess Moskaluk? I did. That was awesome. If I didn't tell you. If I did, well, I'm telling you again. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm just really excited and I didn't realize today's Wednesday and it's done, which means tomorrow's Thursday. And this trip is just blowing by, so I kind of have a little bit of time Sunday morning. I guess I don't have to go into the station, so I might just go wander Toronto for a few hours before my flight to Ottawa. But either way, I will keep you guys posted and thanks for watching, guys. It did it again. It was supposed to stop there and it didn't, so it's got super awkward again. Now I'm going to watch myself hit stop this time. I won't even look at the camera lens. This is awkward again. After the success of her debut EP, and is currently on tour to promote her latest album, Light Up the Night. And Jess joins me now. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, how are you? Yeah, I'm great. You've got a beautiful, big, bold voice. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank you so much. When did you discover your voice? Um, I guess I started singing when I was about 15 years old, and uh, really started doing it kind of more, more and more by, by the time I was in my 20s. Mark, Donnie, and Paul Wahlberg. That their house over the restaurant Wahlberg will open this summer at 42 
way in the heart of the city. They said the drawer location is in a perfect hot spot. This is a story that we broke on uh, our entertainment reporter here, John Candy, broke uh, last summer uh, at the restaurant. Now we're learning where it's going to be, when it's going to open. And it got me thinking about some other celebrity inspired restaurants that maybe, you know, we have Wall Burger. Yeah. So I thought of a couple. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Right? Okay. Yeah. Um, Chris Angelato Italian Dessert Shop. Angelato. Chris Angelato. Here's the local one. Uh, Andy Kimchi Kingdom. I also give a five. Kimchi oh. is very popular. Fish in the Korean community. Yeah. Okay, yes. Very popular. Uh, and finally, um, uh, Warren Bay Tea and Coffee and Pouring. Oh, there you go. Bay Tea and Coffee. John, do you have any more? Did we miss any? Let's see, John Kennedy is even better at puns than I am. Uh, I know we got to run away. Oh my god. Oh, this is insane. He's Should have known. Paul Coffee Time. Should have known. Fiona Apple Pies and Tarts. <laughs> oh my god. This is the whole mall. Ice tea and coffee shop. Tally Berry Picking Farm. John Candy and Bulk. <laughs> Jack Lemonade. And Michael Lee. Oh, John, you're good at this. Deep Loaf Like Moms. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat anywhere where Deep Loaf has been in the kitchen. Is this singer? Not this is the hard behind Hashtag I We'll be right back with some. It's it's fascinating to be in this field. I, I think you're, you're so smart going into this field. Highly competitive, as you know. You know it's competitive, but I think that in school they teach you to be prepared for that. Because you know what? You're going to have people like me who are going to come along and didn't even go to school and who are going to get a job possibly because of their name. But what you got is you'll have the background, the know-how, doing these kind of internships this is how you get in, get your foot in the door, and ask as many questions as possible, and don't just be a bump on the, on the log, which you are not. You're not a bump on the log. So that's really good. Oh, well, that's, I'm glad to hear that. You're very, very welcome.